two weeks ago, just before Christmas, I received an uh, email. It was just a notification, brief notification. It said, I had got the past the qualification test of professional medical interpretation, as a first grade for International Clinical Medicine Association. I spent almost uh, a year last year for preparing this qualification test. Uh, and I really uh, felt my efforts uh, were uh, fruits, uh, believing even an old dog like me uh, could master new tricks. I was so much grateful uh, for what I have uh, accomplished. So, Dosuma says, are you concerned about your health? If your answer is yes, then to what extent do you know about your body system and uh, functions of your organs? or how you could get sick. And can you explain them to your doctors or others? Uh, sorry to say that we are not uh, immune to any uh, diseases as we get older and we all are mortal uh, anyway. So this means uh, we somehow uh, more or less have to be in touch uh, in, in such a situation when we need to uh, understand our health conditions and diseases and face to doctors discuss how we should be treated. It will not happen only just ourselves, but uh, also on our immediate loved family members. Way back in 2017, six years ago, uh, I got I started uh, studying uh, medical English uh, by attending the specialized uh, school on weekend uh, six months. At that time, I just did it because uh, my interest in the broadening my experience in learning English. Uh, while learning then, as I was diagnosed, uh, coincidentally, the stable angina pectoris, Kyoshinsho, and I needed to take uh, the catheter operation. So coincidentally, I had just learned about uh, myocardial infarction, Shinkin Kosoku, about angina pectoris at the school, <laughs> just before my heart surgery day. And my doctor was uh, kind of surprised my sharing knowledge of uh, these diseases at the, my last minute uh, interview before the surgery. So my heart surgery went, itself it went well. I it, uh, had a catheter inserted uh, from my vessel uh, for the radial artery to uh, aortic artery arch and left coronary artery to get rid of my clogs in my parts in my heart vessels. Uh, I fully understand uh, what was going on and was able to communicate with my doctor. So obtaining the knowledge of the medical things are uh, not easy one for me as a layman in this field. But at least I had to understand about the medical things in both uh, Japanese and uh, English, like uh, 500 uh, medical words and phrases and about uh, our bodies and uh, systems and uh, diseases and the medical tests, uh, medical, uh, sorry, uh, medical medication and treatment. I eventually I got uh, the certified for the second grade in the professional medical interpretation to uh, 2017. And uh, after six years passed, and the qualification system itself has been uh, changed in 2020, uh, I revisited the test uh, challenge uh, aiming at the passing the first grade under the new system. However, motivation this time was uh, different from the previous one. Okay, the, firstly, the, I strive uh, delving, del uh, delving into the medical English more opened up the new perspective, engaging with the world of uh, healthcare communication and the knowledge has deepened my the understanding in both Japanese and uh, English. Next, uh, I'm, I aim to utilize this qualification in my uh, second act life. I aspire uh, to contribute to my society, utilizing this skill to assist in the people in health uh, communication. So medical in English uh, learning isn't in just about uh, personal growth. It's about uh, being able to support others. So moreover, learning medical English is uh, incredibly beneficial uh, in understanding my own health and body. Understanding medical uh, terminology, information, and both in Japanese and English contributes significantly to personal health management. 
given my ongoing the experience, I strongly uh, recommend medical English learning to all of you. Uh, embracing a new approach to English opens up the world of the possibilities and uh, also allows you to experience the joy of supporting uh, others in the field of healthcare. So med uh, medical things are kind of omnipotent, uh, like uh, ubiquitous everywhere, health, illness, uh, medical information, they're constantly intertwined in our daily lives. It's not only a benefit to ourselves, but also extends to support to those around us. So I urge you all to consider embarking on the journey of the medical English running. Let's open up a new horizon together and nurture the joy of assisting others. Let's begin this with a journey together. Let's go medical.